this is a quick tutorial in doing an image map with Microsoft Front Page. This particular version is Microsoft Front Page 2003. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to insert a picture from File, and then I'm going to go up here to my desktop and choose the desk picture. Okay, so now this is an image on my document. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is when I click on this I want to be able to see my menu pop up. Okay, in this case my pictures toolbar is not on so what I'll have to do is I'll have to go up to view toolbars pictures and this is my picture toolbar and I can actually drag and drop this onto one of these other bars and what that will do is it'll let me it'll activate when I click a picture and it'll let me make changes. Okay, so these things over here are hot spots and this is the same thing as doing an image map. Um, I can do a circle such as, let's say I'm going to do a circle on these disks and I just click and drag and that becomes a hot spot and I can say www.download.com for example. Okay, and then I can choose a square such as here for this book and you can see that I didn't organize it very well or position it very well but I'll do www.mapquest.com um, since it's a book on Europe and I can drag that over a little bit but the other thing that you can do is this other hotspot it's polygonal hotspot so you click and you can draw your hotspot okay and then I can say www.cnet.com um, or whatever. Alright, now there's all kinds of different things you can do here. You know, you can choose one and do like www.neopets.com or Star Wars or whatever it is you're trying to do. Alright, so if I go ahead and preview this now, it looks normal and nothing really happens, but when I move my mouse over it, you can see down here at the bottom that it becomes a button and it actually turns into a pointy finger. Alright, now this is useful um, for a bunch of reasons but it would help if it actually told you where it was going. So I'm going to go back here and if I double click on this hotspot and over here on these screen tips I can say click here to go to download.com and then OK and I can double click this one. My screen tip could be click here for cnet.com. Alright, so I'm going to go back and preview. And still, it doesn't say anything, but if you move your mouse over it, it pops up with the click here. Um, and you'll see that these don't, because I haven't added those in yet. All right. Now, I don't really recommend using this type of navigation, but there may be a time when you want to have a different piece of a picture go to a different spot, or you can have even a, a hidden link. Um, and this is using Microsoft Front Page. Now, the code for this, if I go into my code view, these are the coordinates. And basically, you can do this by typing your alt area, I mean, your alt text is what will pop up if you mouse over it. And then the coordinates are 243, 256, 24, um, and then shape a circle, etc. And the one for CNET, the computer, you can see that it's got a lot more coordinates. And then the shape is polygon, and then that's the href down there. But the reason it's got so many is because I had to, again, go back and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then over to the 7. All right? So... Anyway, I hope that helps and hope it makes sense to you. Um, good luck with it. Thanks a lot.